So that's where all the home runs for my wiring goes. I was originally going to put a sub panel and all the electronics like on this wall, but I think it's actually going to be way too much when the once the inverter and everything is in there. And I've heard it makes a little bit of a like a humming. So to keep that out of the house, I'm thinking I'm actually going to build a little shed on so the home runs are just on the other side like right around here. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to build a little shed onto the side of the house that is um, kind of like a separate building. So it continues that roof line like where that piece of wood is um, but it's not actually built into the shed because I'm worried with an asymmetric roof it's going to make weird pressures and and stuff so um uh, yeah i think i'm going to build a little shed that adds on to the side of the cabin right here and then just uh put all the electronics in that shed and then just a hole in the wall that goes through to connect to all those home runs or pull all the home runs through and have get that all in the shed um so yeah that's the project for now Hey, the wire is here. Now we'll take it over to the powerhouse and set it up so it'll unspool as we um, pull it through the conduit. This is exciting. Well, that wasn't so bad. So we got the wire all set on the spool. I'm just gonna hang it off of that, um, that eye hook here. Then have it hang just over the top of this opening. And then you can see right down there is the two inch conduit that we're pulling it through. So it's gonna kinda hang above the door, spool wire out into that two inch conduit. And we're gonna pull it all the way to the cabin. 218 meters of pen three. And that apparently will do the trick. So you just gotta wait for a special guest to arrive before we start pulling it. So our special guest has officially arrived and it is wire pulling day. So we'll see what we got going on down here. We have that yellow rope. You can say hi. Hi. My dad, he's back. Believe it or not, he came back. Um, so we ran this yellow rope through the conduit last year when we buried it. So we just finished pulling all of the that yellow rope through the conduit. And when we walked back up, that's how much was left. <laughs> we were so close to pulling it through. Oh, disaster averted. And rather than trust the, just that yellow rope alone to pull the wire, we're going to attach this 9.5 millimeter climbing rope. And we're going to pull 70 meters of this climbing rope through the conduit. And then this 12 millimeter static line that we used to pull the pipe last year. And we're going to attach those together and that'll cover almost 200 meters of the conduit and then we'll pull the pipe through with that because there's less chance of anything going wrong so we're just attaching the climbing rope to the yellow rope and then we'll attach the white rope to the climbing rope and then we'll start pulling pulling everything through and we'll see how that goes yeah, this is where obviously you can't see that <laughs> <laughs> maybe just right right there is perfect <laughs> all right so we got the yellow rope coming out of the conduit. We got her all taped up to the climbing rope and we're gonna start our first pull. We're crossing our fingers that we'll go, <laughs> that it's gonna go through. <laughs> this is gonna go. Okay, so we're at the cabin. This is the end of the conduit. The powerhouse is way 800 feet. 200 meters that way. So we got it all taped up and this is the moment of truth to see if it's actually going to pull through. And oh wow. Oh, it actually pulls through pretty easily. Huh. 
the conduit didn't get crushed over the winter at least. <laughs> awesome. That is great news. All right. So we'll keep pulling. All right. So we got 70 meters pulled through. And we'll go connect the other 100 meter rope. And we'll pull that one through. So far, so good. All right. So we got the first rope through. And we tried to tie these two ropes in a knot, but the knot is too big to fit through the conduit, so we're just taping them together and then occasionally splitting the ropes, taping one individually, then taping the other one individually, then taping them together. And we think all of that combined will be enough <laughs> to keep the ropes from pulling apart because eventually with this white rope, we're going to be pulling, you know, it's going to be pulling the the whole wire through so this connection itself will have about 120 meters of that wire on it almost a full roll of electrical tape later <laughs> we have we have our two ropes connected and i don't know what's going on up here <laughs> and that should do it i don't want this edge to be sharp there too Nice. So we have about 200 pounds of Pen 3 wire precariously perched over the basement hatch via the four-wheeler winch and basically the idea is that it'll come down into the basement around the corner <coughs> and follow the rope through the conduit so we're just going to attach the wire to the rope now every every connection has been a little different so <laughs> What are we doing this time? <laughs> We're tying it back on itself. Or taping it back on itself. If it breaks, you can have the evidence. <laughs> <laughs> so we've doubled the rope back on itself and we're going to tie tape that together. And then it goes through the wire. The wire's doubled back on itself. We're going to tape that together. And hopefully. That'll be the strongest connection yet. All right. So we got the yellow rope attached to a climbing rope attached to this rope attached to the wire. <laughs> I think we're finally ready to start pulling the wire through. <laughs> um, only we're going to use a little bit of this foam lubrication to help the wire go through. Don't know exactly how that works, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. This is <laughs> the end of the rope, which means, oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, that's so sweet. We finally pulled that cable. So you can see there's probably like four to five meters on this side. And then, oh, I'm so psyched. Just to give you an idea of how long the run is. I'll go for a run. On this side we got, I don't know, probably five or six meters. So yeah, all in all, it's a good amount of cable and it's pulled. We did it. 
Hooray! All right, so we are back in the powerhouse. I think the turbine seems to be running very well. We have 212 volts from two unclogged nozzles, which is fantastic. So now we're going to take the three phase that the turbine comes out in, and we're going to hook it up to the 103 wire that we've run. And uh, we're going to do that with these waterproof morettes. And then it's good, that's going to go into a junction box. And that's going to all be mounted probably nice and high above the turbine somewhere, somewhere around here. And then that wire will run out down through the conduit and bring power to the little shed there. We have our 10-3 wire coming out the top here. Turbine wire is going in the bottom. Waterproof morettes in a junction box. I'm just going to move the junction box down a little bit like I showed earlier. I don't want these wires rubbing against um, this thing when it's spinning. So just move the junction box down a little bit and we'll be uh, We'll be good in here. So final walk through the powerhouse. Water comes in. We've got our pressure gauge. Tees off. This is the main line to the house. We've got our gate valve that shuts off power to the or water to the microhydro. We got the microhydro in its cage of safety. Got two nozzles, one here, one that goes all the way around and enters back there. This thing spins super fast, sends current through those guys, connects to the 10 3 wire, and away she goes through that conduit. And that goes about uh, 210 meters to my house. Okay, let's go play with the electronics in the shed, and we're getting pretty close to turning it on.